assalam alaikum students this is dr tariq jamil today i will discuss the aries stress function in polar coordinates we will not drive the complete aries stress function just like what we did in the case of uh, dealing the aries stress function in cartesian coordinates here the purpose of again uh, uh, showing you these slides is to give you an idea uh, that how the aries stress function treated in polar coordinates so we know that aries stress function is a combination of multiple functions three stress function so the, this is the way we separate the three stress function so in polar coordinates uh, sigma r r represent the radial stresses sigma theta theta represent the circumferential stresses and tau r theta represent the shear stresses so this is the only way of separating the these three functions from the aries stress function because the uh, these expression when we place the values of these uh, three uh, expression uh, in the uh, in the equilibrium equation uh, in uh, in polar coordinates then uh, that equation uh, will satisfy so this is the only way of separating three functions from the aries function this is phi is the aries uh, function in polar coordinates this is the stress compatibility equation the fourth order biharmonic partial differential equation before proceeding ahead uh, and determining the solution of the problem we one must has to satisfy uh, this uh, condition so this uh, fourth order by harmonic partial differential equation can be converted or can be changed into a simple ordinary fourth order differential equation by using a technique called as separation of variable techniques so here you can see the expression contains r and theta two variables and these variables are blend into each other uh, using the uh, separation of variable techniques we can uh, we can uh, we can rewrite the uh, equation such that the variables can go either side of the uh, equation so from this uh, euler type differential equation one of the stress function that can be obtained uh, and uh, the possible solution of that equation uh, is is uh, shown here so we will straight uh, make use of this uh, uh, aries stress function and solve one of the problem so from this uh, aries stress function when you separate uh, the three function sigma r r sigma theta theta and tau r theta using these uh, three expression uh, you will you will end up end up with this uh, these uh, expressions and later by applying the stress uh, strain uh, sorry stress displacement relationship or first apply the stress strain and later apply the strain displacement relationship the solution will end up with like uh, this this is the uh, displacement of the uh, material points or uh, different points uh, inside the material in the radial direction and this would be the displacement of uh, uh, material points in the in the circumferential direction so i am repeating again that here um, uh, we are uh, uh, we, we will not uh, go completely into its detail and the derivation we are just directly jumping to the uh, solution so using uh, these equation let's let's solve one of the uh, simple problem uh, a pressure vessel a long uh, cylindrical uh, pressure vessel or you can see a long uh, pipe uh so here this is this is the question uh the boundary condition or the uh, is the or uh, or one of the boundary condition is that the uh the ins internal pressure pi uh at the is is applying on the on the inner boundary uh that has a radius of uh, a and and the external pressure p not or the outer pressure is uh, is applying on the boundary at a radius of uh, uh, b so these are the uh, two boundary condition and uh, and and on the same boundaries uh, the shear stress would be equals to 0 
as there is no applied shear load on, uh, on either of these boundaries so the material on the surface will not offer any shear stress so this is true for the uh, boundaries and later you will realize that uh, the the stress the the value of shear stress would be zero at all points so these are the three uh, two boundary conditions uh, and uh, where uh, uh, and we have to determine the three unknown constants uh, that are that are shown here so here you can see these are the three functions and b not c not and d not are the unknowns so the first step is to uh, test the uh, aries uh, function whether it is qualifying the stress compatibility equation or not and i told you earlier that uh, uh, this function is already uh, satisfying the uh, stress compatibility equation by the way it's it's simple to uh, this this condition is simple to apply uh, you can test uh, this aries stress function uh, that whether it is qual uh, qualifying the stress compatibility equation or not and uh, the once once the uh, once the function is uh, satisfied so the step 2 is to choose the aries function and later uh, the step 3 is to uh, is to check uh, whether the stress compatibility equation is satisfying or not so this is satis uh, this is satisfying the uh, the condition is satisfied so we can proceed to the step 4 and we can separate the function uh, these functions are already shown on the previous slide that uh, uh, this aries uh, function will uh, yield these three uh, functions so now uh, we can apply the boundary conditions uh, as step number 5 so from the uh, simple uh, judgment uh, we can uh, we can realize that in this problem uh, since since the uh, pressure inside and the out, uh, outer pressure is symmetric across the uh, across the entire boundaries so each material point will not uh, displace in the uh, in the circumferential direction so whatever the displacement that uh, each material point uh, will observe uh, uh, will will be in the radial direction so uh, this material point will uh, go outside away from the away from the origin if the internal pressure is uh, higher than the outer pressure uh but uh, this 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 point will not move angularly uh, so there would be a zero angular displacement so for for doing that uh, uh this expression this entire expression should be equals to zero means like d not should definitely be definitely be equals to zero so right now we are not concerned with the alpha 1 alpha 2 and alpha 3 uh by by at the end of the day the whole expression has to be zero but in particularly the uh, not should uh, should be uh, equals to zero so uh, uh, from the from the observation of the uh, boundary conditions and the and the examination of the problem we realized that uh, d not should be equals to zero so now uh, applying the remaining two boundary condition and taking d not as equals to zero uh, in this uh, uh, in this expression and these uh, these expression we will end up with uh, uh the values of uh, sigma rr equals to uh, minus pi uh, uh equals to this thing and sigma rr is equals to minus pi out at a radius of at a radius of b uh, so here you can see this is uh, this is a uh, uh, a uh, when when we when we apply the internal boundary condition and this would be equals to b when we apply the external boundary condition or boundary condition on the uh, outer boundaries so anyhow uh, uh, this this is zero so we simply apply the boundary condition on uh, this remaining part of the expression and we will end up with uh, the values of b not and uh, c not uh, like that so once we have the values of b not and c not uh, putting uh, these values back to the uh expression so uh, this would be the expression for the sigma rr and sigma theta theta and tau uh, uh r theta so these uh formula uh, formula i looks uh, familiar to you and uh, i think you have already already used this formula in your previous course uh, i think in solid mechanics too in the case of uh, thick pressure vessels 
so this is the only uh, problem that we will discuss uh, in this course outline uh, related to the polar coordinates and that's all for uh, for for the topic so you don't need to drive the uh, expressions so whatever uh, will be asked from you uh, is from uh, this handout and not not out out uh, outside from this handout uh, thank you